All right, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. This is truly the season for giving, the season for sharing. This is the time where you feel good about yourself and about everybody else too. And how do we do that? By giving presents, of course. Gifts, gift certificates, toys and booze and, 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 uh, and TV sets and, and, and cars and clothes and, and candy. Candy is always nice on Christmas. Everybody likes a little chocolate now and then, right? Uh, unless, of course, they're shaped like slugs. And art. Art is always good. I mean, after all, a portrait just painted by Vincent van Gogh of a man smoking a pipe is a wonderful gift. And you know what? That artist was so nice, he even painted the back. And he put a hole in it so that you can use it as a pillowcase. What a great gift for Christmas. You know, it really doesn't make any difference what you give. It's the thought that counts. Why, you can actually give a nice little rakish holiday beret, huh? Something like that. Or maybe a nice red, white, and blue with stars ceramic elephant for your friend out at the office who happens to be a Republican. Or maybe an electric clock. You see, it's the whole point is the giving. You know, the important thing right now is to buy, to spend, wrap, and deliver. B-S-W-D. Buy, spend, wrap, and deliver. That's the thing because, you know, businessmen all over the country today, they depend upon you. They don't necessarily need you right now. We're in serious economic trouble in this country. So they want you. This is their mantra. To buy, 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 and then buy some more. That's the idea. I mean, this is so different than the way it used to be. You know, Grandpa could give a nice little grandson a big red ball. And the boy would look at that and he'd say, Oh, thank you so much, Grandpa. We'll have so much playing kick, fun playing kickball in the backyard. A million hours of fun. Or he could give his granddaughter a nice little hat that just like Mama wore. And he could say, you can go to church and dress just like Mama. And the little girl would look up at Grandpa and say, oh, thank you. And he would, she would smile just like an angel. No more. You know, I used to make presents for my uh, nieces and nephews. I would make games. I would make toys. And they always used to love the angels in the manger game that I made. Now, the angels in the manger... Where are my angels? I, I've lost my angels. But I used to have three angels which fit around my head. I don't know where they are. Maybe they're over here. Yes, they're over here. The angels I would put on my head and they play the angels in the manger game. Now, this is kind of like skee-ball, which, which you play down there at the, in the summertime at the, at, the, at the beach. But instead of using the wooden balls, I would use eggs. That's right, eggs. And the idea was that everybody got a dozen eggs. And the idea was that the holy angels would, would drop their eggs into to the, the sacred eggs into the, the manger. Yes, you see? And, and they would see whether or not they would land in the cups in the manger. See, now this isn't so easy either. You've got to, kind of be coordinated and it's a little bit of a game and like I say everyone gets a dozen and so there's a little bit of competition like that but but it was something the kids could play they could play with each other there was a little you know some fun in the backyard stuff it's not that text 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 thumb 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 business nowadays but of course that's the way it is now nowadays for a boy he's got to have some you know, a lightsaber, she's got to have um, some games that are electronic games, you know, and things like that. But, but uh, uh, or then the girl, she's going to have her uh, All-American doll, and that means she's got to get a doll that's the same size, uh, uh, has the same clothes as she wears. But um, uh, that's not the way it used to be. But you know something? That's the way it goes. You have to change with the times. And you know what someone said to me, Tom, what are you doing this year for a job? And I said, well, I'm going to be a Santa Claus in an apartment store because someone told me I look like Santa Claus. So I'm going to go into the Santa Claus, and you think I look like Santa Claus? Ho, 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 Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, kids! Oh, boy, I'm going to have a lot of fun. And the kids are going to sit on my lap, and I'm going to say, okay, kids, what is it you want for Christmas? 
and they're going to tell me this is what I want, this is what I wrote in my little letter to the North Pole and stuff like that. And I'm going to say, kids, you can have anything you want. I'm going to bring everything to you. But then I'm going to ask them, kids, I'm going to say, now, what about you? What are you going to buy? What gifts are you going to give to your mom and dad? Or the little kid down the street? Or the guy that drives the bus to school and takes you to school every day, huh? So that's it. I'm going to try and teach these kids that it's not just get, get, get for Christmas. It's give, give, give. And the kids have got to learn early because now we need everybody to spend. Even the children have got to go out there and buy gifts and buy presents and give them. Buy, spend, wrap, deliver. That's the secret. Now, I'll tell you. Uh, kids are going to learn right away if they think that they're going to get something from it, they'll do it. So, you know, it's like that. there is a, a, an unbelievable uh, bottomless stocking hanging on the mantelpiece. So the kids are going to have to put presents in there and give these presents out. So I'm going to ask the kids, all right, kids, this is the way you start. You get a gift for your present. I mean, you get a present for your mom or your dad. Okay, what are you going to give your mom? Okay. So the kids might say, oh, we'll get something from the mom for the kitchen, a chicken grater, a wooden spoon, you know, so she can make some music while she's out there in the kitchen making your dinner. I say, no, 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 don't get anything for, for them, for mom making things in the kitchen. Mom's out there in the kitchen making things all the time. Get something nice for her, something like lingerie, huh? How about a bra? Now, do you think this would be a nice bra size for mom? I hope so. Uh, or maybe you can get another kind of bra. This is a nice one here. This, this bra has some color to it. Really kind of colorful and pretty. And it can kind of double, you know. If it's cold outside, she could wear it as a hat because it would keep her ears warm. And here's another bra that I think is kind of a, uh, has a bra effect, but it also has some the kitchen utensils, some, uh, some Brillo pads. Those are nice. And she could wear that also outside as a hat. Kind of gives it that, you know, that Lady Gaga style. Why not? What about dad? We gotta give dad something now. You know, you can always give dad ties. I know they joke about dad getting ties all the time for Father's Day and for Christmas and everything. But you know, dads love ties and they love ties from their children. I mean, I think, you know, even Elvis, Elvis loved it when he'd get a tie if that tie was from his daughter. Sure, he'd wear it. You know, or maybe you can get dad, you know, all dads, they love to barbecue. So why not get dad a real nice apron for his barbecue this year, for a Christmas barbecue, so he can make some burgers out there. This will be really good, and this is nice and snazzy, and it's expensive. And that's what I want these kids to learn. Spend your money on gifts. Give those gifts out to friends, and because this is Christmas time. And after all, our country's in trouble. Our country needs you to, to go out there. And you know something? There's another angel out there that they've got to be aware of. And that angel is out there too. And that angel is just as important as Santa Claus. Because that angel goes out there on Christmas Eve. And that angel is called the Angel of Merchandise. And that angel is out there. And just on Christmas Eve, just like Santa, it flies all around the world. And it goes... And it's got these big eyes. And these big eyes on these wings, it can look into the houses. And it can see just exactly how many things were bought. What's underneath the tree? That's right. And if the angel of merchandise sees that either you or your mom or your dad didn't buy enough gifts to make this a, a good American happy Christmas, then that angel of merchandise will swoop down and might do something that you wouldn't like, like, for example, something to your little dolly, or something to your little bicycle, or something to your puppy, or something to your kitty, or maybe something to your mommy or your daddy. So don't let that happen. Go out there, kids. Spend, buy, wrap, deliver, and make this a real happy America. Merry Christmas.